In our vast universe, one thing that doesn't change, no matter how much we advance in technology or explore space, is the challenge of bureaucracy. While private companies are always coming up with new ideas and pushing society forward, they sometimes face roadblocks from official rules and regulations. A prime example is SpaceX, led by revolutionary Musk. This company is doing amazing things in space, but they often bump heads with the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA. Precisely one month ago, anticipation was high as SpaceX prepared for the Starship's much-awaited launch. The company had gone to great lengths, fully stacking the rocket and establishing a launch window that spanned from the 8th to the 13th of September. However, as many space enthusiasts had marked their calendars and set their eyes to the skies, their excitement was met with disappointment. The FAA did not grant the requisite launch license, dashing hopes of witnessing the mammoth rocket soar for its second journey. Unfortunately, this isn't the first time. Time and again, SpaceX's ambitious timelines have been hampered by FAA regulations and processes. And, as of late, it seems like SpaceX and Musk are getting frustrated with these challenges. Before we dive into the details, make sure to subscribe to our channel. You'll get updates on SpaceX's next big Starship launch and more. To really get the relationship between SpaceX and the FAA, we need to look at how SpaceX works. This company loves making progress and pushing the boundaries. This was clear when they were getting ready for their second Starship launch. They planned everything in detail and wanted to move quickly. But when we compare SpaceX's fast way of working to the FAA's slower approach, there's a big difference. SpaceX is always ready to go, while the FAA takes more time because they have a lot of rules and checks to follow. This has caused many delays for SpaceX. Thinking about this, it makes us wonder, if the famous Apollo moon landing mission from years ago happened today, with all these rules, would it have been successful? Would the United States have been able to plant its flag on the moon's surface on the same timeline if the Apollo program had to navigate through the current maze of regulations? Another issue is that the FAA's rules and their decision-making process aren't always clear. For example, after some issues with the first Starship test flight, it took the FAA a long time to respond. Musk didn't hold back his frustration in a recent tweet, stating, It is absurd that SpaceX can build a giant rocket faster than they can shuffle paperwork. This was in response to another tweet that highlighted the delays caused by the U.S. fish and wildlife officials. The original tweet read, U.S. fish and wildlife officials have yet to begin a formal review of SpaceX's upgrades following Starship's first launch in April. This could push back the next launch window by months, which I know none of us want to hear. Following the incident on April 20th, 2023, where Starship exploded just over three minutes into its intended 90-minute flight, debris rained down into the Gulf of Mexico, devastating the Texas launch pad. This triggered a thorough investigation by the FAA. As a result, 63 corrective actions were identified, with 27 emphasizing public safety. Despite SpaceX's quick response to these directives, the FAA's drawn-out safety assessments have caused concerns within the space community about additional delays for future Starship launches. The FAA has its hands full, overseeing the entire spectrum of aviation, from commercial airline flights to rocket launches. Given their management of an incredible 16.5 million flights every year, the approximately 50 space launches currently seem like a drop in the ocean. However, the dynamics are changing with the surge in space tourism interest. SpaceX's Starship exemplifies this change. While the current space launch's number is around 50 per year, SpaceX envisioned their Starship operating daily flights. This vessel, unparalleled in its capabilities, can either transport a whopping 150 tons of cargo or 100 passengers. And this is just the beginning. Musk envisions an even more impressive successor, the Starship 2.0, However, realizing this dream isn't straightforward. The FAA's stringent guidelines stand as a formidable challenge. More than just hindering SpaceX's progress, this constant bureaucratic barrier by the FAA poses potential setbacks for the U.S. on the global stage. When it comes to the international space race, SpaceX stands as a beacon representing U.S. advancements. Let's face it, while organizations like NASA and corporations like Boeing have made significant contributions, they currently don't match SpaceX's rapid development and innovative strides. Blocking our top company doesn't just slow down progress. 
It also gives other countries a chance to get ahead of us. China, for instance, is advancing aggressively in the space arena. They are already in the process of developing the Long March 9th, a super heavy lift reusable rocket. Initially conceived as an expendable rocket, the Long March 9th promises to be a juggernaut, with capabilities to launch 150 tons to low Earth orbit and 50 tons to a lunar transfer orbit. So the next time the FAA thinks about delaying a SpaceX launch for some unexpected reason, they should remember the bigger picture. Such delays don't just affect SpaceX, they impact the whole nation's standing in the space race. This tussle between SpaceX and the FAA isn't new. Since Starship's initial prototype launches, the company has encountered numerous delays due to FAA evaluations. Musk's palpable frustration has been evident, especially during instances like the launch of the Starship prototype SN8. Despite receiving the green light from the FAA under specific conditions, a last-minute cancellation by the FAA, which SpaceX chose to overlook, ended in an impressive launch but a catastrophic landing. The subsequent oversight by regulatory bodies impacted the testing efforts for Starship SN9. As SpaceX made permit application changes, the FAA dragged its feet on the license review. Musk's exasperation found its way to Twitter, where he criticized the FAA's fundamentally broken regulatory structure. While SpaceX often struggles with the FAA's rigorous regulations, they're not the only one facing this challenge. Blue Origin also faces similar challenges. Recently, the FAA concluded their investigation into a launch failure Blue Origin experienced in 2022. But the end of this probe didn't signal an immediate return to regular launches for the company. Instead, the FAA handed Blue Origin an extensive checklist to address before the new Shepard could soar again. Key among these stipulations was the implementation of 21 corrective actions aimed at preventing a recurrence of such mishaps. Some of these actions delve deep into the technical realm, like the redesign of specific engine and nozzle components to bolster their structural performance during operation. The FAA's role is indeed to protect public interests, the most significant being safety. However, it's also in the public's interest to have advanced spacecraft systems that operate effectively. SpaceX's track record with its Falcon rockets showcases its commitment to reliability and safety. If you have thoughts or predictions on SpaceX's next moves, share them in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.